Hey guys, Keith from Helvonic Games. I'm on the Icarus game and um, I'm on the Styx map. And I'm just going to show you how to tame bees. And bees are tamed in one of two locations. Either you find them in caves or you find them in um, kind of broken stumps. I'll show you what a little bit what they look like in the stump. So that's an example of a broken stump. Um, when there's a bee, it'll be obvious. There's a you can see the you can actually see the beehive, and it's kind of a bulbous shape. So if I can find one after at the end of this video, I'll go looking for one. But at the moment, I'm going to show you how to tame bees in the cave. So you'll need a couple of things. You'll need a, a melee weapon, a knife. I use. Um, also, if you don't want to get pneumonia, I suggest you use some kind of antibiotic. You don't have to. You can risk it. Um, but I tend to use the antibiotic pill and if you want to be able to see really clearly although caves aren't too bad I tend to bring a light okay so first thing you need to worry about in a cave is the cave worms so kill the cave worms first is my just ignore the hive for now ignore any bees they hardly do any damage so kill the uh, kill any cave worms that pop up first we'll have, we'll have a good look round this is all my stuff there's a good electric mining drill going on Oh, there we go, bees are attacking, so we'll have a run around here and just see if there's any cave worms. No cave worms. Alright, fine. So we're safe from cave worms, so swap out to the knife once you know the cave worms are clear. And then what you can do is just swing, just swing at these bees. And eventually they come in. You can see they come in towards your knife. And they just kill themselves on your knife. And that's how you kill the bees. They do do a little bit of damage, so if you want to bring health pots, you can, but... So you just keep killing them, no problem. You don't have to do that to tame them, you can just run straight up to the hive if you want. See there's two hives in this cave, okay, that's what they look like, that's the hive there. And basically you get close to the hive, it says why just kill them bees, there we go. And you just attack the hive until it says press E to interact. Now the hives heal themselves, but you can still interact, so you just interact. And you can see you've got a worker bee, a queen bee, and some honeycomb. I'm going to drop the honeycomb, I don't need that. But I'll take the bees and... The bees from the other hive have started coming. Once you've destroyed the hive, the bees stop stop spawning. So there won't be any more bees from that one. But that one over there, of course, is still spawning bees. So we've got to do the same to that one. To get up to it somehow. There we go. Get up close to it. Okay. And attack it. And then you see it says press E to interact. interact. So you press E. And you into its inventory. Well, again, I don't need, the, I don't need that. So I'll take the... I'll take the queen bee, I'll take the worker bees, I've got some ore here, I'll get rid of um, some copper ore, because I've got a, I'd rather have the worker bee. I've actually got a electric mining drill going on now, so I can have as much copper ore as I want. Okay, so that's how you get, I mean that's obviously how you get honeycomb as well, I threw it away, but that's, the, that's how you get the honeycomb. Um, To start off, if you haven't started your beehive off, that's how you get the honeycomb to start off your beehive. So you have to collect a few to get enough honeycomb to make your beehive. But that's how you get the, uh, you know, the queen bee. I was lucky actually, both hives had a queen bee. You don't always get a queen bee, but I happened to get two there. And you get uh, like one to three worker bees as well in each in each hive. And sometimes, of course, in caves you get the exotics as well. That was from the previous cave. And we'll just have a, a quick look. Um, along see if there's any more caves and see if there's any more um, bees oh I've just seen a, I've just seen a, uh, a bear now the easiest way to kill oh, there's also two jaguars so that's a certain death if I attack a bear and two jaguars so I'll, I'll stealthily kill the jaguars they're easy to kill and then we'll get my hunting rifle out and we'll check out where that bear's gone. Looks like it might have walked off. It's going to come soon because if it smells them corpses, it'll come running over. It's a Komodo dragon coming. They're also attracted by the corpses. Well, all carnivores are att attracted by the corpses. So Normally when there's a corpse nearby, the bear will come running. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, it is going to come okay. running. That's a rabbit, that's a Kia. Alright, 
we'll, uh, we'll carry on then, we'll make our way along the, we'll leave them, them alone, we can obviously skin them but I've got no inventory space so I'm just going to carry on, see if I can find another another cave, I'm pretty sure I've got another cave hooked up near here, you can see the electrical cable on the ground, in fact if we use our electrical cable it actually shows us where I've run my cable, so we'll just follow that to get to the next cave. It's actually quite a useful navigation tool, the electrical cable. I tend to have it with me most times because it goes right back to my base. <laughs> um, so there we go. There's my next one. So we'll do the same again. We'll get our bow out. We've got our antibiotic pill still. We'll put our light on and we'll see if there's any. First of all, clear the cave worms. If you hit them dead centre in the mouth, they tend to. Doesn't really matter what bow you've got, they tend to die first time. There is a. Well, I thought that was a hive, but it's not. It's gold ore. Okay, let's keep moving through. There's a hive. Okay, but we'll kill the cave worms first because we're going to be tapping on with those while we're trying to get honey. So probably another one up here somewhere. There we go. In his mouth, dead. Point blank range as well. So that's all the cave worms dead. Looks like there's only one hive. So we will uh, go up there and get the next hive. We'll kill the bees first. There we go. Now that knife, by the way, I'm using is a titanium knife with the 10% um, melee attack boost on it. So there we go. And there we go. So another another worker bee and some honeycomb, which I don't need. The reason I'm not taking the honeycomb, by the way, is because I've already got beehive set up, so I can make honeycomb now. So I don't really need it. Just kill them bees. Simple as that. And that is now. Sometimes I was hoping to see some exotic ore, but we'll tell you what. We'll have a walk to the next hive. We'll put our light away, we'll put our electrical cable on so that we can follow the, uh, follow the yellow brick road. I was hoping as well we might have seen, um, we might have seen the other version of the, the bees that you can tame out in the wild, we don't have to go in a cave. They're a bit, uh, they're not quite like that, they're taller than that, the stump you're looking for is taller than that. It's got kind of a bulge in the middle where the hive is. So we'll keep going. So a stump over there, but that's not the set of the right shape either. So we'll keep going, we'll keep going. I think I'm a bit faster running with my bow because I've got some kind of talent that I've got, so I'll keep my bow out. I still see the electrical wire that I'm following. Cougar, a Jaguar, get rid of him. Yeah, there's another cave down there, I can see it. So I'm pretty certain my electrical cable will just go straight into it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let's have a look in this one. Oh, look at that, it's been blocked up again. So sometimes happens, sometimes. The, uh, the cave's walls reappear, even though you've destroyed them. Not sure what the whether there's a respawn rate on these, or whether it's just when they do some kind of server update or refresh or something. But that I'm hoping that means also the if there's any exotic ore in this cave, that might also have respawned. But let's have a look. Let's do this. We've got enough coal to get in. Don't need any of the stone, so that can just fall to the floor. It's actually quite good having an inventory full. It means you don't keep having to get clear. Your inventory is rubbish. Can't move at the moment, so I must be trapped myself in somehow. There we go. Right. And it's still a bit there. Okay. Same. Same principle. Arrows. Light. Still got a little bit of antibiotic pill left, so I won't put a new one in just yet. We'll have a look around. We'll kill the cave worms. These, this is a cave worm bow with cave worm arrows, by the way, in case you were wondering. 
Move our way in here. There's a beehive up, up missed. There's a beehive up there, so we'll get that in a second. Once we've cleared the cave. I know it's up the top there as well as some titanium ore. I always collect titanium ore. I've actually recently found a, a titanium deposit um, in a cave which I've just put an electric drill on but it takes ages to, to fill up. It's easier to mine it if you can find it. Okay. Alright. So let's get our knife out. Ready for more bees attacking. Any bees? Oh, we killed it. Okay, so we've got another couple of another another queen bee. So we'll get rid of some of this copper ore. Don't need all that. We'll have another queen bee, that's excellent. And two more worker bees, also very nice. And that's the honeycomb I'll start with. You can just you can eat some of that if you've got no food. But I have so I'll get rid of that. Okay, good stuff. Uh, let's go get that titanium ore. Oh, trapped. Trapped in a little little bugged area there. Yeah, what we want is that titanium. Oh, oh no, don't fall down. Might have to go around the back. There we go. Oh. Come on. Maybe over there, that's it. Right. Get that titanium up. So I've got one inventory slot, so I'm hoping that's enough to. There we go. Titanium up. Incoming weather event. Whoop. Okay, let's get out of this one. Oh, it seems to be blocking me. I didn't like that. Clear the way a bit more on the way out. Okay, out we go. So that's that. That's that hole remade. We don't need our light on anymore. Right, let's follow this electrical cable and see if uh, there's another cave. Keeping our eye out for any beehives. The tree version of the beehives. Really wanted to show you one of those if I could find one. There's nothing around here, there's no more caves, let's go. There's, an, there's my electrical wire, follow that. <laughs> there's another cave. Okay, same business, let's get a antibiotic pill. Light on. Let's clear those worms. Oh, I've been attacked by bees already, so let's... There we go, bees dead. There's the hive, that's why it's right next to the hive there, so let's... Kill that. But this time we'll do the uh, do the hive first, because it's, it's first in there. More bees. That's it, dead. Another queen, crikey I'm lucky at this one. I don't need the copper so we'll just keep getting rid of copper in favour of these bees. I've never seen so many queens. That's four queens already so far. I was quite lucky I think. Or maybe I was just unlucky previously, I don't know. Yeah, so that's not. The reason I'm going into this cave further isn't for more bees, I'm hoping. There's some exotic spawned at the back. Exotic, uh, exotic ore oh, always seems to spawn around the back of these caves. And there it is. There we go. Exotic ore, oh, that's what I'm after. So there's about 25 to 28. It's random. So each. So I'm just going to bin this copper off altogether now. I want to make sure I'm not getting rid of my titanium. Which is these ones. It's okay, I don't need that either. Don't need the stone. Okay, good. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Let's get that light's too bright. Right. Exotics. Yay. There we go. So I got 24 exotics from that one. So that's the lowest I've ever had actually. Normally it's 24 to okay. 24 to 27, 28 it seems to be then. 
don't know if that's affected by any talent or buffs, but it looks like there might be some titanium ore up there as well. So let's go around and check that out. It's a coal deposit. I've already got one of those set up. Coal on top of there. I think it was hanging off the back of here. I'm sure I saw some titanium. Yeah, that's it. That's the job. So I'll have that. go. It's added to my titanium hall. We've now got 317 titanium, which is nice, and 50 exotics, which is nice. Okay, so this is uh, this is the way to, to be honest, oops, throw my bow away. I don't know what the button is to press that, but there's definitely a button you can press that throws away, somehow throws away your, oh, it's Q. Okay, so that's what I'm accidentally pressing sometimes. Q seems to accidentally throw away your gear. <laughs> okay. Is that the hive that I did? I think that's the hive that I did. Yeah, that's why there's no bees. Okay, so I'm just going to go back in the cave so I don't want to get storm exposure. So the trick basically is just go up and down the edges of the mountains, going in every cave you find, harvesting your bees, harvesting your queen, getting your queen bees and your worker bees and, and if you need to the, the honeycomb and also checking every cave around the back if there's a back part to the cave always check around the back in case there's exotic ore because more often than not there is especially on the open world map which is what i'm on so um yeah thanks for watching helvonat games hope you found that useful and i'll speak to you again soon